Hello, it's Jimmy Erdo O'Reilly's and I have a Peugeot Boxer here. We've just fitted an AdBlue tank as you can see there to it and that will be in one of my previous videos there. So now we have a second job to clean the DPF on it. Now we have got high pressure on the DPF but there is two reasons why I'm going to try and do this DPF clean today is to clean the DPF and it, it did have a faulty AdBlue tank which would have caused um, crystallization in around the sensors, NOx sensors and the catalyst itself so we're gonna flush the whole system with a DPF clean so let's start the vehicle up okay with the vehicle on idle there we have 28 to 26 millibars oh it's 27 to 26 now millibars there pressure so we're gonna get this DPF cleaned out okay so we have our cleaning fluid here just filling into this Cup. So that is pre-mixed. We've already pre-mixed these with a couple of different bottles. It's 50% of the fluid and 50% water in that bottle there. And we have poured the whole contents into our gun here. That's going to be pressurized on our compressor. Okay, we have our fluid now connected into the gun with our little nozzle there connected to it. And that is connected to our compressor there. So what I do there is use a little bit of fuel hose to connect my, my little cone there onto. Now that fuel hose can disconnect directly onto the pipe here that goes to the DPF once you've removed this one which is the DPF pressure sensor hose and that connects right to the DPF here. Goes in there. Okay so that's now connected. There's your DPF under the van. We can now squeeze the trigger and get all of this fluid put in there. Now this fluid will expand. It will expand all the way up back up to the turbo usually and all the way back down here past the knock sensors and you can see there we are getting some smoke a little bit of fluid dripping there already so that's it I think we're just out of fluid so we're back here now at the pressure sensor we'll disconnect our cleaning gun we haven't had any fluid come back out and we will get our pressure sensor now connected back up there pushed in nice and snug now we will uh, clamp back up this little clamp here, lock it back in. And you can see there we fitted a new AdBlue tank already today to this van. Okay, we're back in the vehicle. Let's get it started up. Now we'll hold the revs up. We have around about 200 millibars. Uh, we are limited at the minute, it's limited at about 2,500 RPM. Sorry, let that screen focus. That's where we are on the revs. So we'll hold these revs for a few minutes and we should see that pressure come down. So before we started this video, we did delete the codes just to get it to free rev a little bit. Um, and if we go back again, we should be able to uh, clear these codes again and just get the vehicle to rev up. So let's give it a clear. And now if we start it up, we should be able to rev it up a little bit higher again. No. We might have to reset the whole DPF again for that. Okay, the pressure has come down to 32 millibars. So let's let the vehicle idle. That's a good result there. We got around five millibars of pressure. That's plenty good enough. I mean, it probably will come down lower than that. We have only been accelerating that for a couple of minutes only. So we just switched the engine off there. What we can do now, just again, like I said, to get the vehicle to rev up. Um, we're going to just go to special functions first. Spare part, work on the emissions. Sorry, I don't know if you can see the screen there. Uh, particle filter replacement. And this scan tool is a launch Euro Tab 3 start the engine so what these Peugeot's what I assume they mean by making you do this is it wants to check the pressure so you're not just telling it lies that the DPS been replaced um, so I take it if the, if the pressure is still high it would say a failure on here but if the pressure is low it will give you a, an okay 
Okay, reinitialization successful. Now we can clear the codes again. Okay, codes cleared. Read the codes. I haven't got no fault codes there for the DPF. So we should start it up now and we should be able to accelerate the vehicle up again. Now, like I always say in my videos, there is always a reason why your DPF is blocked. And in this case, it needed a new AdBlue tank. It had NOx, exceedance codes and urea pressure too low in the tank. So we've replaced the AdBlue tank. Now we've cleaned the DPF. So that's it. Replacement AdBlue tank. DPF's all cleaned and we should be all good to go. So that's it. We will see you on our next videos.